Suko has been given a ridiculous buff. Let's make a build for this absolute beast. Use either of these two subspecies. I think I personally prefer Stam Regen, but that's just because I don't think Suko needs to be any faster. There's literally no reason to not use Bite, so just go ahead and use it. If you're solo, use Lone Hunter. But if you're in a group, it won't work, so what you want to use is Drenched Blows. Claw Barrage is the star of the show. It does ridiculous damage and can shred through pretty much anything. Use Slick Scales. Latons and Dinons are very strong at the moment and this will completely counter them. Equip Stomp. It does ridiculous damage. It, pre it one-taps Latons, Dinons. I'm sure it can almost one-tap Utahs and stuff like that. Equip it is really strong. Equip Tail Attack. There's literally no need for the extra swim speed. If you're playing modded as well, there's you can't swim. There's Moses, there's Dinos. It's impossible to swim as a Suko. This is what the final build should look like. And now I'm looking at it actually, it looks so good. The green, the red, that's some nice colors. Hey guys, it's my birthday on the 24th of December. Yes, Christmas Eve. And I was just wondering, maybe, if we could hit 6k subs before then? Come on guys, it's completely free. Just subscribe. If you don't like my content, you can always unsubscribe. Let me start this off by showing you how Suko bodies other mid-tiers. You literally don't even have to play well with this build. He's, he's tail riding me. I, I'm sucking right now. I'm terrible. I run away, which I can because I have the speed to. And what? I missed three claw attacks here? I'm playing like garbage. But the second I get, look, I've got these claw attacks stacked up now, and he's dead. I mean, look, in five seconds, I've completely scarred him up, and now he's running. And of course, like I said earlier, Suko doesn't need the extra speed. I'm more than capable of keeping up with him, and I can actually chase him down. Which shouldn't be possible, by the way. I think Ala should be way faster in this game. But, oh well. I chase him down, lands a finishing bite, and bang, he's dead. Now let me explain something about Suko. You can 1v1 Apexes, but you're relying on them to make a pretty big mistake. If they play flawlessly, you can't win. I'm sorry you can't. And if you're going to comment saying, um, actually I beat uh, three Rexes as my Suko, they suck. I'm sorry, they suck. Or, or, hold on, or, you're insane. And if you're insane, congratulations, because you're better than me. But I can't seem to get Apexes, if they play flawlessly. Now while I've been rambling, not much has actually happened in this fight. I'm running away just to get him off my tail so I can turn around and hopefully start a tail ride. But disaster strikes and I start riding his head. I tried to hit him with a break check, but apparently I suck. The fight's continuing. To be honest, I'm just getting smacked around. I start glitching on his head again, but here's where he makes his mistake. He turns around. I don't know why he turns around, but he does. And next to me, just tail ride him with five stacked claws. Now being so low, I have to win this fight flawlessly. If I get bit once, I'm dead. Now this is something not enough players do. You see how I'm moving my tail here? He's chasing me and I'm not just running in a straight line. That's because the very tip of your tail has a hitbox, and they can bite that. So you have to wiggle your tail so they can't get to it. What I'm trying to do here is bait out a bite, and I do successfully, but then I bottle it. I completely miss my bite, but hold on, I'm actually behind him right now, which is a perfect spot for me, and I can just finish him off with bites. Now that was good and all, and you know, GG's to the guy, you played well. But you made two mistakes. I got behind him twice on times I just shouldn't have been able to get behind him. That's the only reason I won there. He made mistakes. Now what I'm going to do now, instead of showing you another fight where an Apex makes a mistake and I'm able to win, I'm going to show you why you desperately need Slick Hide. But a way you can win if you're not using Slick Hide. As you can see, I'm getting smacked up by Latents. I mean, there's really nothing I can do other than try and shake him off and time a stomp at the right time. And that is literally the only way you can win. I, I tried to go for a facing them attempt, but it doesn't really matter. They can just jump on your side. So the next attempt, instead of just, you know, keep shaking them off, trying to stomp, 
I'm gonna go to an area where the terrain is a little bit, you know, a little bit funky, a little bit silly, a little bit wicked, a little bit rocky, a little bit crazy, and see if I can get okay, stuck there. And here we go. This one jumps on me, and I'm like, okay, bro. I'll just shake you off in this little rock house I've got. Bang, bro falls down, can't turn around. <gasps> Stomp crashes down on his skull, he's dead. To summarize, this build can kill mid-tiers and any apex as long as they make a mistake. But what you really want to do is grab your friend to both use this build and play Duo Suko. Duo Suko is so strong. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing.